Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is the Holy Fuck 2 MU. MU stands for... I, I don't even remember, but more maneuverable? I don't know. Um, also has these two extra struts leading out to the wings. So this thing can land without taking any damage by parachutes alone, which the previous version could do if you have engine power, but if you don't have engine power it couldn't do. Um, basically the difference is these struts on the wings, these winglets on the edge of this, these under here, and these two sets up front, these winglets, yeah. Of course, I haven't showed you the Holy Fuck 2 to begin with, so that doesn't really mean anything when you can't compare it to what you've seen before, because you haven't seen it before. Anyhow, um, as you can see, these wings are multi-layered. There's like a bunch of stuff shoved in there just kind of haphazardly. Um, I was inspired to try to make the dropship from XCOM. I didn't do that. Oh yeah, the other difference is the other one had one wheel up front, but after how annoying that is, I put a second one. I made it just four wheels. Um, oh yeah, and there's some extra struts right here attaching to the cockpit, because the cockpit likes to fall off on touchdown from parachutes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this one's more maneuverable. Um, it still has the same properties as the other one, which, like I said, I haven't mentioned, but anyhow, the other one, you can lose half of the wings, half of each wing can be destroyed, and it still flies, um, and pretty decently, too, um, which is amazing, uh, it's pretty good survivability, right? Also, you might have noticed, this plane has a very interesting construction design, I have an upside-down Mark to Mark II adapter, upside down Mark III fuselage, another adapter, and then a tailpiece. On top we have two fuel tanks, and then for some reason more fuel tanks wouldn't attach them, probably because they're very slightly glitched into this, the bottom of this other tank. So we put two of these in, and these glitched into each other, but they're alright, they're, they're happy with it. And then I put in two, two more of these because these ones would have been too big. Well, mainly just because these ones would fit, but those ones would have been too big, too, so it's nice it worked out this way. Um, in effect, it's, it's a very pretty design for the body, at least, because it looks pretty rounded. It doesn't look too ridiculous, but um, it adds so much fuel, where previously I would have only had two pieces of Mark III fuselage and a Mark III to Mark II adapter. I have two adapters, a piece of fuselage, two of these uh, Mark I fuselages, actually four of them, and then two Mark II fuselages, all in approximately the same space. Um, you know, there's more vertical space that they're taking up, but the, the point I'm trying to make is for the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I can't think today. There's my parachutes. Um, the... Yeah, I just can't think today. I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired. I was sick earlier today. I actually missed class today. I'm feeling better now, though. Oh, yeah, this has an extra parachute up front, too. That's uh, to allow for landings with parachutes only. Uh, like, let's say the craft is extremely damaged and you want to land. You, you can. In fact, what I really love about this front parachute is if you look, it's actually attached to the back of the capsule. So, if you manage to get blown up entirely, but the capsule is still alive, you can activate your one remaining parachute and manage to survive with just a capsule. Which is a pretty useful thing to be able to do, don't you think? Uh, surviving an otherwise horrible incident. Um, What's really cool about this design, another thing that I haven't mentioned that I could mention, um, you can actually take off with the parachutes fully deployed on the ground. You can take off. It's very hard to, you don't get going very fast, but this thing can fly with parachutes off. Or on, I mean, you know, activated. I, I, yeah. Um, it's also very fun to spin it. Spin it. Uh, ooh, uh, let's aim for the runway. Why not? 
T. It's going to want to fall vertical the moment we hit the parachute, so I want to get us over the runway and then dr drop down. Uh, this is close enough. No, wait, wait. Oh, the parachutes are going to activate right around here. Pretty close. Okay, never mind. There we go. Yeah. So now you can see uh, it's dropping the nose in. So we're trying to... Well, there we go. Let's see. Looks like we're right on course for landing on the runway. Nice. Yeah, so I'm aiming for the runway with parachutes here. Let me turn on the engines because I'm tired of waiting for us to land to go down already. Two hundred meter. When we get to two hundred meters, I'll cut the engines. Okay, we're already at two hundred meters, because basically those engines uh, will cause issues. But yeah. Oh look, there's our shadow. Oh, that's a cool looking shadow. Yeah, but there we go. As you can see, we have landed with the parachutes deployed, with no damage suffered at all. So now, if we want, we can just take off again. I also like that the brakes are strong enough on this thing to almost, never mind, I was about to say to hold it down with full thrust, but turns out it's almost enough, not quite. But yeah, um, let me go see if I can clip the wing on the tower without crashing it to show you how well it flies with the damaged wing with half of a wing gone. I don't know how well I'll be able to crash into something though. <sighs> It's, it's a lot easier to crash w without destroying your ship when you're not recording. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, we're not low enough. Almost, almost. Almost. Okay, let's turn this way. Come on, do not gain altitude. We do not want to gain altitude. Of course, we don't want to fall into the ground either, but... Okay, let's see. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Dick. Also, as you can see right now from my shenanigans, you can fly this thing pretty low to the ground. Yep. Come on, hit the tower. Hit the tower or the ground. There we go. Except due to the loss of the wing and my uh, lack of reaction timing, uh, I did not roll to the right as would have been necessary to lift off without destroying the rest of the wing. So we lost the rest of the wing, followed very shortly by the fuselage and the other wing, because, you know, that tends to happen when you lose the fuselage, you lose whatever the hell else you had. Thank you for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.